Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd just like to thank everyone for listening to this podcast and to also let you know that I do have other podcasts as you know for sleeping as well the let me bore you to sleep the deep sleep whisper hypnosis podcast i also have a relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks which is very popular so i do other things and everything's available on my website and also if you like this podcast please subscribe if you'd like to and then you, I think you get notified when a new episode arrives. So I'd like you to get yourself comfortable, which is the most important thing, really. When you're listening to a recording such as this, comfort is a priority. Which means that if you're lying down in a bed, you can change the position of your body at any time that you choose. Now, I myself like to sometimes move from my left side to my right side, depending. And what I notice is when I do, even if I'm asleep and I kind of wake up temporarily to turn over to my right side. It doesn't wake me up. I just fall asleep. So, you know, it's it's almost a semi-dream state. So feeling comfortable is really important. And just because you get yourself into a comfortable position to start with, doesn't mean you have to stay there. So, you know, I think it's worth remembering that, not just for this recording, but for all, for any recording you listen to, whether this or any others, remember that your comfort is number one. Your comfort and your safety. So... What I'm going to do is just ask you to get in touch with how you feel to start with by doing a little body scan, noticing how you feel in your face, your eyes, your jaw, your neck, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Just being aware of those parts of your body. I notice just then as I know as I focused on my shoulders, I actually moved my shoulders a bit. And it sent a almost like a little shiver down my shoulders and my arms. But a nice sense. Uh I guess a, a sense of letting go. A sense of comfort. And you can focus on your chest and your stomach. You can focus on your spine, leading all the way down from the top of your spine to the bottom of your spine. And then the muscles either side of your spine and then the muscles of your back. Upper back, middle of your back and your lower back. Just noticing how those different parts feel. And now you can focus on your midsection. So the the groin, buttocks, your hips. That whole area that divides your torso from your legs. And then you can notice how your your thighs feel, the fronts, backs, and sides of your thighs. And there's a lot of muscle there in your thighs. 
just noticing how they feel. Then it's your knees. Noticing your knees and then moving down to your shins and your calf muscles and then into your ankles. Just scanning those parts, being aware of how they feel in your feet and in your toes. Just noticing how you automatically feel more relaxed when you hear my voice and also when you just do the that light scan of your body starting from your face moving down to the tips of your toes just noticing how you feel being aware of how you feel physically and now I'd like you to Focus on your mind. Focus on your emotions. How do you feel emotionally? And whatever the answer is, it's okay because there is no right or wrong answer. It's about just acknowledging how you feel. Knowing that whatever you feel that feeling will change, as all feelings do. Whether it's physical or emotional, we're constantly changing how we feel. It's just part of the process of being. So if you focused, for example, on your right knee or your uh, left elbow, And that's all you focused on continuously for 20 minutes. And you're able to block out any other feelings from any other part of your body. And focus completely just on that one part. You'd notice that changes would happen. You'd notice that it wouldn't stay feeling the same continuously. It gradually changes the sensation of that part of your body gradually and in quite small ways will change. And sometimes it's only when you really focus that you begin to realize that every single part of your body is constantly changing in the way that it feels. So even though you didn't ask your legs to feel relaxed, you didn't ask for your shoulders to feel relaxed, for your lower back or for your eyelids. Perhaps those parts are now more relaxed than they were. It's as if just by focusing non-judgmentally without trying to manipulate or change anything that those parts of your body that you focused on automatically start to relax in their own way and in their own time without needing to be asked Which makes you wonder, how relaxed could you really get if you directly asked that part of your body to relax? 
when you focused directly and asked that part of your body to relax. Which does open up possibilities. And opportunities to experiment with this idea. You can start off by asking your forehead to feel relaxed. And just noticing how your forehead feels. You could just say, please, I'd like my forehead to feel relaxed now. Or you could say, I'd like my eyes to feel more relaxed. Or maybe you could have a shorter sentence, just say, my jaw feels more relaxed. Because you're given that request to your brain as you speak directly to each part, which then sends that signal, lightning speed, through your spine, or to your spine, then up to your brain, and then back down your spine, and then through to that part of your body. It's lightning fast. In fact, the brain starts to activate the command or the request before you've even finished the sentence. Just in the same way as your shoulders start to feel more relaxed before you even get to the end of that sentence. My shoulders are feeling more relaxed. I didn't even get more than a word into that sentence before my shoulders felt relaxed. And indeed also my back, my shoulder blades, my back, my lower back, upper back. And my face is feeling more relaxed as well. And you could say, uh, the back of my neck is feeling relaxed. And straight away you have a sensation in the back of your neck. It might be a a coolness, it might be a warmth, it might be a tingling feeling, it might be I mean, a sense of relief, a sense of letting go, or a sense of release, kind of almost giving permission to the muscles in your stomach to relax deeply and just to let go of any tension or any stress from the past and to let go completely just by saying the words my stomach now feels more relaxed and then your stomach There's a calmness there. It's all, it kind of feels that to me as if the muscles are divided, in a sense, separating from each other in a, in a way as to relieve and release any kind of tension.
I actually have a visual in my mind of almost steam just raising from my body out of my skin like the steam of tension just completely being evaporated and as as I said that I really felt it in my face and my head a real real sense of whoa real calmness it's actually pleasurable it's like my eyes and the rest of my face are all one feeling and it's spreading down my shoulders my arms into my hands all of my upper body Now going down my legs and to my feet and toes. It feels, it might sound strange, but it feels almost like sunshine. A little bit like sunbathing. That feeling of the sun shining with your eyes closed and just melting away. Almost as if the The stresses from the past were made of butter and the sun just melted it all away out of you. So you're just left with comfort and calmness. Comfort and calmness. And as that feeling of relaxation continues to grow, even without us needing to do anything, it then dawns on me, I'm starting to think, well, if I can say that my eyes feel more relaxed, and then they do, feel, even now as I said it, my eyes are starting to feel that tingling sensation of comfort. And what would happen if I said that my forehead is becoming sleepy? What would happen if I said that my eyes, your eyes are becoming sleepy? And then you can test this out for yourself by saying those things to yourself inside your mind. I feel as if my forehead and my eyes are just switched off the light it's almost like they just said they're no longer available so as I focus on my jaw my jaw is feeling sleepy the same thing happened The light got switched off. It's as if they just said, oh, okay, we're going to sleep then. Don't need the light on now. So I'll just focus on my neck, back of my neck, my throat. So my throat and the back of my neck feel sleepy. Again, the same thing happened. It was almost like I heard a light switch. Like click, click, like that. I'm 
so I could say my shoulders are feeling sleepy. You could repeat that if you like. And I know that as we do this, as you go down your body, I'm noticing that my mind is starting to wander. And I'm trying to bring it back so that I can continue to talk. But at the same time, I just want to just want to switch the lights off on all of the parts of my body. Just enjoy the feeling of comfort. Enjoy the feeling of a calm mind. An increasingly relaxed body. And so all those parts fall asleep one by one in a natural way. Feeling, feeling so calm and loose. As your back feels sleepy, chest and stomach feel sleepy, your hips and your legs, feet and Toes feel sleepy. Feel sleepy. My whole body your whole body feels sleepy. Counting from ten down to one and with every number you feel more Sleepy. With every number you drift even further, feeling even sleepier now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, 